Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. I never know what kind of intro to do with these vlogs, but um, I wanted to do another one today. I saw a comment on my channel under one of my vlogs that was very moving and it was basically saying that a lot of you love my vlogs and you share them because they because I say things that you don't hear, that people don't say generally, but they're all things that you believe. And, and you know, if you feel one way, but nothing in your life indicates that you're right, but you desperately want to be right, it would feel really good, I would imagine, to hear someone finally say it. And some of the things that I think moved you were when I said that you should go after what you want, not what the people around you want for you. Because if you go after what you want, you're going to be happy and if you're not the only person you can blame is yourself and so that means you can fix it too but anyway I just that was really really meaningful and I guess it's helped a lot of you with um, depression and things and I had no idea that my vlogs would do that so I just want to say that I'm so glad that I could help you or at least have a small impact like that on your life that really really means a lot to me like that kind of made my whole day my week my month you know like it's just so cool and I'm so glad that you shared that with me but anyway to to move on to the point of the vlog what I wanted to talk about today was not so um mm, I don't want to say negative because the things I talk about are negative but more positive, I suppose. <laughs> what I want to talk about is gratitude and the importance of being grateful for what you have. Because you can't get better if you don't already appreciate what you have. And I'm not saying that you should appreciate bad situations. That's not how gratitude works. You don't say, I'm, I'm grateful for my abusive relationship. You say, I'm grateful for the strength that I have to leave and to survive my abusive relationship. And that's just an example, but if you don't already practice gratitude, I highly suggest that you try to incorporate it into your life. And so I'll tell you a little bit about what I do. Somewhat recently, I picked up a habit. It's a morning routine, and I could actually show you, there's a whole document I have about it that I can show you. Every morning I wake up and I sit, sometimes I work out, like it's all part of the morning routine, but every morning, consistently, I do one thing and it is right in my notebook about what I'm grateful for. And a lot of it is really simple things. I'm grateful to be able to breathe clean air every day. I'm grateful that I have food to eat. I'm grateful that I have money in my bank. You know, it's not a lot. But how can you expect to get more if you're not already grateful for what you already have? And another thing I've been looking into recently is the law of attraction. You may or may not have heard about this, but basically what it says is you attract what you think about most. And if you think about gratitude and abundance most, then you will find gratitude and abundance in your life. But if you think about debt and pain and how horrible things are for you and how much you hate your life and how much you wish things were different, you're just going to get more of that. I really don't know if this is anything you've heard of before or if I'm just repeating stuff you already know. But maybe if you're in a tough spot right now in your life, maybe look into it. I'll post some links below um, about some resources that I've looked at for this. But it's, it's been really, 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 really helpful for me. My mood has been a lot better the past couple weeks because every morning, like I was saying, I wake up and I think about all the things that I'm happy about in my life. And it's just, it's a really different way to live. And I, I know that not a lot of people do this. 
but the ones who do have a morning routine where they practice gratitude and appreciation are successful. So, you have to mean it, by the way. I also wanted to show you my vision board. <laughs> it only has a few things on it. If you've never heard of the concept of a vision board, basically, it's a visual for things that you want to have in your life. So, I would like to make money. I want to be uh, the star of a short film this year. Um, this one just reminds me to work out. <laughs> and this is for the Maxim competition because I really hope that I win that. So basically every morning I sit in a chair, it's on the opposite side of the room, facing this board here, and I write in my journal about everything that I already have and all the things that I would be so happy to have. And I look at my board and I visualize what it would be like to have them. And it really does set me up to feel really good during the day. And things are really hard for a lot of people around the world right now, but the difference between the people who are really, really struggling and those who are, you know, doing all right is that the ones who are struggling are failing to be grateful for what they have, to look forward, to see that this is, this too shall pass, basically, while the other ones are still thankful that they still have their family, they still have some food, they still have a little bit of money, they, they have a way to to survive they are grateful that that time passes they're grateful that we struggle and we come out together stronger than we were even if we're in a little bit roughed up shape right so i hope you get what i'm trying to get at here but this is really really important to me and i wanted to share it with you because it's been helping me a lot so if you're going through a rough patch maybe just stop take a few minutes every day just to think about how you're grateful for even the opportunity to get out of your position. Okay, that was awkward. I got a phone call in the middle of my vlog, so it ended the video, but that gave me a minute to get up and go get this. This is what is changing my life. <laughs> this document is the reason I started doing this gratitude work and it is phenomenal and I don't know if I can send you a link I might be able to I'll have to look for it but basically this is written by a man named Benjamin Hardy I subscribed to him he had a like a an email mailing list and I signed up and one day he sent me this this was about three years ago and I never used it I, I kind of read through it and I was like okay that's pretty cool but then recently I was going through a rough patch and I still had this for whatever reason I've made so many moves. I've literally moved across the country three times. And I, for whatever reason, I held on to this. So, this obviously meant a lot to me. And I, I saw it, it was in my closet. I pulled it out and I was looking at it. And I said, this is, it's the time. This is the time for me to start using this. So I did. And that's how the gratitude thing came about. And it's been, it's been life-changing. I highly recommend. If there's anything in life that you want to do and you're finding a hard time doing it, but you know you want it, you have to start a morning routine. And the number one rule of that morning routine is starting to be grateful for everything that you have and everything that you would like to have. Yeah. So that's, that's basically it. You know, I didn't want to talk too much because I could go on about this forever. It means so much to me and I'm actually so grateful that I get to share this with you because this is it's important and it works it works so well you have to commit and you have to be genuine in your gratitude but you can get what you want you can I will see if I can find a link for this and I'll post it below the video thank you so much for watching I hope that this helped Go get yourself a little notebook or something and start writing down the things that you are happy about and the things that you have, no matter how small and insignificant they seem. So, thank you. Thanks for watching. Um, you can share this video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'm thinking that every Sunday I'm gonna do uh, vlog content, so keep an eye out next Sunday for another vlog. Thanks for watching.